Hey, darling. My God, it has been a minute. Um, my back is feeling much better. Um, and I feel like my headspace is good. Uh, not that my headspace was bad. I just needed a break and to figure out where I want to be in my life and goal set and do all those things. Um, that being said, um, I have updates from Missoula. Um, good things coming down the pipeline there. I won't give too much away. Uh, yeah, I saw Jason last night. Um, that was really good. He says hello. Um, and um, yeah, he essentially just, you know, reminded me to um, stop worrying and to be in the moment um, and to plan ahead like I do and um, to be on my shit. So um, advice to you as well, stay present. Um, what is meant for you will not pass you by. You can't fuck it up. Just communicate and um, keep it moving. So that being said, um, let's go ahead and get into some yoga. Uh, so let's round down through our seats. Put the crown of the head lift high to the sky. Roll your shoulder blades down and back. Take a nice deep inhale through your nose. And a big exhale through your mouth. Again, big inhale through the nose. And exhale. Two more big breaths. And exhale. One more time, big inhale. And exhale. Always starting up our classes from the space of gratitude. Give gratitude to the universe, to the creator, whatever name that you would like to call it, but just recognizing an energy that's bigger than us that we're still collectively a part of. Give gratitude to the earth. She reminds us that we live in a space of abundance rather than a space of scarcity. That we have everything that we need and that we ourselves are more than enough. We give gratitude to the indigenous people of these lands, to Northern Cheyenne and the Crow, and Salish, the Blackfoot, Lakota, and Sioux. Just reminding ourselves that gratitude for the people is just the first baby step in us coming into right relationship and doing the right thing. Go spot word and then deep. We have gratitude for this practice of yoga. It reminds us that we as human beings are innately good, are kind and honest, generous and just. And we have gratitude to black and brown people as the original creators and sustainers of this practice. It's basically him said, that's the most loving action. We give gratitude to our bodies and to ourselves, to our own ancestors and our own lineage, recognizing our and their trials and triumphs, traumas, tribulations, and transgressions, and holding ourselves responsible for how we choose to repair and restore the many damages that have been done in order to build a peaceful, loving, and liberated world for seven generations and beyond. And if there's a person or persons, place or places that you'd like to dedicate your practice to today, and draw them into your mind's eye. Take a nice deep inhale and breathe them all the way into your heart center. And then your exhale, send them up. Go ahead and slowly blink open your eyes. Allow yourself to come back into your room and into whatever space that you're in. Kind of casually glancing around, noticing any detailing that maybe you haven't noticed prior. And then slowly start to bring some movement into your seat. Heart and chest pulls you forward, low belly pulls you back. You can do as big of circles as you want to, or as little. For three, two, and one, and then take it back the opposite way. For three, two, and one, and I'm really 
realize I'm rather than not clock out, son of a bitch, and so I'm going to have to make a mental note of that. <laughs> Inhale, arms sweep high overhead. Exhale, tuck the arms and open up through the heart and the chest, and then inhale, arms high. Exhale, take that right palm down to the earth as you sweep your left arm up and over. I could have stopped the video, but no. Um, I will just make a note. And then flip the palm and bring yourself through your center line. Same thing on that opposite side, reach. Roll open through the heart and the chest. Exhale, bring yourself all the way back to your center. Inhale, arms high. Exhale, flow it out. Inhale up, exhale down for four, three, two, and one. Inhale, sweep it over again. Exhale, kick it forward this time and serve the earth. And then same thing, inhale, sweep it over. Exhale, serve the earth. Inhale, arms high. Exhale, roll back onto your seat. Take the soles of the feet down to the earth. And then ground down through your, your palms. Feet are grounded down to the earth. Fingertips point back towards your heels. And then lift through your hips and let your head rock back. A reverse tabletop. Think about opening through your throat. Big inhale. Exhale, slowly release. Send your hands towards your seat and then extend the legs high to the sky. Go ahead and let's do a little bit of ab work. Lifting and lowering. Pointing the toes as you come up. Flexing them on the way down for eight, seven, six, for five, for four, for three, fire up through your legs for two, and one. Inhale, lift the legs. Exhale, bring the feet out in front of you. Lift and move through your seat. Take your seat back behind you and then inhale, arms high. Exhale, fold down and over the tops of the thighs. Flex your toes in towards your face. Come into your little caterpillar pose or your staff pose. Lowering down and over the tops of your legs. Engage your low belly, support your low back and stay ground. Toes keep flexing in towards you, elbows to either side of your calf. Nice deep inhale here. Exhale, hold. Two more big breaths, big inhale. And exhale. Four more time, big inhale. And exhale, slowly bring yourself all the way back up. Arms sweep high. Exhale, bring yourself into your boat pose. Right elbow down and then through your center line for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Big inhale. Arms come high, exhale, pull down and over the tops of the thighs again. Pull up and in on the low belly. Take your breath down into your pelvic floor, exhale. Two more breaths, big inhale. And exhale, one more time, big inhale. Exhale, slowly roll yourself all the way back up. Cross your ankles, roll over your knees and shins, and bring yourself into a table up. Press down into your palms, knees are underneath your hips, pressing around and into your calf. Inhale into your calf. Exhale, press and round. Inhale, back and through. Exhale, press and round. Hold here for a moment. Shift your hips back and forth side to side. Let the head hang heavy. And then inhale, heart and chest moving forward again. Exhale, bring yourself back and into a neutral spine in your table. Extend your left leg back behind you. Press down through the top of your right foot and then extend through the foot. Reach, hold here. Big inhale, floating table. Exhale, turn the leg out and swing. And then bring yourself back to the center line. For four, three, two, and one. Open up. Drop down through your foot and walk yourself up and come into your gate pose. Leg is extended. Take yourself down your extended left leg. Reach up and out of your hip as you reach through your fingertips. For
for four, three, two, and one. Bring yourself all the way back down, palm plants. Tuck your toes, send your hips back into a one-legged child's pose. Curl your fingertips out, forehead is down to the earth. Big inhale. Be mindful of the inside of your left knee. One more time, big inhale. Exhale, shift yourself forward. Pull your left knee underneath your left hip. Press and round into your cat. And then inhale into your cow. And then bring yourself back into your neutral spine. Extend your right leg back behind you. Flex and press. Left arm comes out. You hover in your floating table. Big inhale. Turn your right toes out and then swing. And then bring yourself back to your center line. For four, three, two, and one. Inhale out. Drop the foot down, walk your hands back. Bring yourself up into your gate pose. Take your arm down, that extended leg, opposite fingertips reach, up and over, big inhale. Exhale, sweep yourself down, palms plant. Drag the knee underneath your hip, press and round. Inhale, back and chest and forward. Send your hands towards the top of the mat and drop down through your chest and belly, coming into a puppy pose. Breathe in between your shoulder blades. Tops of your feet press down to the mat. Two more big breaths, big inhale. And exhale. One more time, big inhale. Exhale, keep the big toes together to touch and then slowly shift your hips all the way back towards your heels. Keep reaching. Breathe into the back side of the body. Forehead is down to the ear. One more time, big inhale. Exhale, shift yourself forward. Tuck your toes and then set your hips back and high into your down dog. Hands are nice and wide on the mat. Wrap your muscles around your bones. Nice deep inhale. And then exhale, slowly walk your hands back to meet your feet. Let yourself hang heavy here. Shift back and forth side to side. Head hang super heavy. Allow there to be some natural traction on your spine. Shake your head yes. Shake your head no. Inhale, hands up the front part of the feet and shins, flat back. Exhale, bend and over the tops of the thighs, and then inhale, sweep yourself all the way up to stand. Arms come high to the sky. Exhale, tent your arms, open up, and then close it up. Hands move down to your sides. Inhale, arms sweep high. Exhale, bend down and over the tops of the thighs, and then inhale, hands to shins. Exhale, take your hands down to the earth and walk yourself out into your plano pose. Big inhale. Drop down to the knees, untuck the toes, lower all the way down to the chest and belly. Inhale, baby cobra. Hold. Maybe float your palms for four, three, two, and one. Hands come down to the earth. Let the crown of the head move towards the front wall. Take your gaze down. Press yourself all the way back up. And then pedal out through your heels, knees dropping down to the mat for eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Big inhale. Press back through the heels, shift it forward, lower, hover, inhale, lift. Exhale, drop to the knees. Send yourself back into a child's pose. Try to bring your hips out in front of you, forehead down to the mat again. Breathe into your armpits. One more big breath. Exhale, walk your hands back towards you. Shift over and onto your seat. Extend your left leg long, sole the right foot to the inside of the thigh. Turn your torso towards your straight leg and then inhale. Down and over the top of the thigh. Pull the crown of the head towards the top of the foot. Keep reaching yourself forward. Keep wrapping your muscles around your bones. For four, 
three, two, and one, and then slowly hands walk up. So up out your feet. Same thing on the second side. Turn towards your straight leg, inhale, arms high. Exhale, down and over. Pull back through your hip, pull your elbows down to either side of your calf. Breathe deep for four, three. Pull yourself over the top of the leg, engage your low belly, pull it in towards your spine for two. And one. Slowly walk your hands up your shins. Take both legs out in front of you again. Move your seat back behind you again. Inhale, arms high. Exhale, pull down and over the tops of the thighs. Hook in with your heels. Take your breath deep into the base of your belly. Again, big inhale. And exhale. One more time, big inhale. Exhale slowly, pull yourself all the way back up. Hands to the outside of the hips. Shift yourself forward. Take yourself all the way down and onto your back. Squeeze the knees into the chest. Let the back of the skull come all the way down to the earth. And release here. Shift back and forth, side to the side. Massaging out through your low back and sacrum. And then release. Take the legs all the way down to the end of the mat. Find your Shavasana. Hands can come down to your sides. You can use your elbows to pop your heart and chest up. You can always take one hand to heart, one hand to belly. You can keep the hands down to the sides. Allowing yourself just to breathe. Nice deep inhale through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. Again, nice deep inhale through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. If you reading this, be ready. Start here. What do you want to remember? How sunlight creeps along a shining floor. What scent of old wood hovers? What soften, softened sound from the outside fills the air? Would you ever bring a better gift for the world than the breathing respect that you carry wherever you go right now? Are you waiting for time to show you some better thoughts? When you turn around, starting here, with this new glimpse that you found, carry into evening all that you want from this day, this interval you spent reading or hearing, keep it for life. What can anyone give you greater than that? Starting here, right in this room, when you turn around, William Stafford, you already have the greatest gift. Turn around. Take a nice deep inhale. Always encouraging folks to stay in your Shavasana um, as long as you'd like and as long as you need. Um, post the video shutting off um, and just staying with your breath. But the sacred light, the sacred feminine, the sacred masculine, and the sacred love in me sees, honors, and reflects the sacred light, the sacred feminine, the sacred masculine, and the sacred love in each of you, in you, dear Jane, collectively in all of us. Thank you all for sharing your practice with me today and for trusting me with your bodies, hearts, spirits, and souls. And when you do leave your mats, be sure to go in peace and remember to serve love always because love is our only pathway to liberation. Thanks so much, y'all. I'll talk to y'all soon. Jane, I love you. Updates to come. And y'all probably get one more video too.